Hello everyone, this is Pro PvP Gaming here, and today we are back with another video. Um, so today I'm in like you know my default world map. Um, so yeah, um, I've been having comments about you guys needing help to get more FPS because people said my FPS is a god. Uh, I actually got one comment from someone just now, and I decided why not do a video because I haven't done a video on this yet. Um, excuse me. Um, so I'm not using webcam because it's not really important to use it on this type of problem. So let's do this. Um, so first thing. So if you want your FV FOV like fast, then you could turn it like all the way up to Quick Pro. If you want it like closer, then I would turn it on 90 if uh, recommended. Um, if you want your music and sound on these, then turn it all the way to 50 because it can actually help you um with your fps scale um and per turn your music off so you will have not lag okay first of all turn your render distance on two um i would turn it on four through eight if if i would show you but i would turn it to eight because that's a normal scale um and turn your max frame rate to unlimited so your max frame rate can go as high as you can. Um, turn your smooth lightning on off and turn your graphics on fast. If if you want your graphics or if you want your FPS to go high, and turn your smooth lightning on off. Also, you guys don't know what the FPS is like if you turn it on auto. I would recommend you turning it on medium or normal. Um, because because the like the lower the settings are the more FPS you'll get because since there's more space instead there's like more things that are on your minecraft there's not gonna be that much like space so you'll get higher FPS like say if your render distance was you know on two you won't have you don't see a lot of space on here so that's why you turn your you turn your guy scale on normal so because you don't have a lot of space and if you turn it on auto you have a like lots of you have lots of you know stuff so um i would turn it on 8 but um i would have my fog on off um let's see um i would have my brightness on bright i would have my vivos on um, view bobbing, you could have an on or off. It's just like, it's just like you're moving. It's like you're moving, like your hand moving and stuff. And if you turn it like off, this is what it will look like when it's off. It's like when you're showing render, kind of. So that, so yeah. Um, turn alternative blocks off. I've been experiencing alternative blocks for a while and I know what it feels like to have it on. So I would recommend you turning it off. Um, so let's now go to details. Okay, so turn the clouds on fast. Turn the trees on. Well, you can turn it off too, but it but the clouds on fast will really not damage your FPS that much. But I would recommend you turn it off. Um, put your trees on fast or smart, but I would recommend you put it on fast. Put your sky on or off, but I would recommend it off. Um, put your sun and moon on or off. Um, if you want it on, that's fine. If you like the detail color of it, then yeah, you can leave it on, but I recommend you put it off. Put these on fast. Um, put your entity shadows on, on. Um, it helps, it helps when you put it on, cause, um, it actually hires your FPS. Um, held iron and dim two tips off. Um, if you want your capes to be on, then go ahead. Um, stars. You can keep it on if you want. If you have a different texture pack, then yeah, turn it off. Um, rain and snow, you can keep that off. People don't use rain or snow because they don't really play, you know, default maps. Um, let's see. Let's go to animations. Okay, turn all these off. You could have the terrain animated on. Um, you could have, like, the void particles. Um, you could have the particles on minimal. It, or or decreased. There's no reason for you to turn it on all, cause it will lag you pretty pretty bad if you had everything on. So, um, 
I will use terrain animated on because one time I used a uh, terrain terrain animated off the compass wasn't really moving the right way so I would recommend you guys keep it on for now um so in the fast render you need to keep that on because so because the shaders look at the shaders if you have it off then you could actually use shaders but if you guys are not using shaders then keep your render fast render on so so like your render distance could keep yeah so yeah um other performance i would recommend you guys to show your fps so you wouldn't have to press f3 all the time um i use optifine by the way um, so, I was recommending if you do use, you know, um, Optifine, you will boost your FPS, because everybody uses it, but some of you guys, some of you guys are really having trouble, and also, I'll show you some texture packs that can actually help me. I'm gonna use the Wahoo Pack Zip, and see if it actually changes the FPS of the game. So... It actually lowers your FPS, but I still use it anyway because I don't care. Because the clouds texture pack is not really, it's not really damaging or anything. But I would say to you, maybe use, you know. But if I go into like maybe like a, I would say a multiplayer server, then I would use it. But um, like I said, let's go somewhere over to Monplex and let's test it out. All right, so look at the FPS right now. I have over 200 FPS because I'm running with, um, I'm running with the Wahoo pack. So you'll get more FPS if you're running on default. Don't worry about it, it's fine. So, so yeah, um, but some of you guys have been telling me that you guys have been opening with a different program. Like I mean, you weren't you weren't opening with the right uh file explorer. Um you need to open with the right explorer to download Optifine. Like say if someone was trying to download something but it didn't really have a folder to connect it with. Like some of you guys thought it was connecting with Internet Explorer. You connected it with the wrong thing. You need to connect it with Java or RimWare so it could open to that file and then you could drag it inside your Minecraft. But I would recommend you guys to open with Java. Um, because if you open it with RimWare, you have to do some extra things. Like you need to drag it to your folder and then, and then it will pop up from there. But I would recommend you doing Java instead. But, um, yeah, I'm using Optifine, and I also have an 8-gig computer. If you have a 4-gig computer, you will maybe, you will maybe, like, have, I would say, not a bit of lag, but I would say you have 100 FPS, maybe, 200 FPS. Um, but I have, like, 700 FPS, like, just standing here. Um, but, because since I have a really good computer... But if you guys like this video, then please subscribe to this channel. If it has helped you, then please like and subscribe. Um, and I'll maybe do a video someday about uh, how to change, how to open it with the right uh, file um, with Java, how to open Optifine with Java. Um, I will put the link in the description of the Optifine link. I'm also using 1.8.9, and if you guys want to use it, then that's fine. And some of you guys be saying... Um, that 1.9 lags. Don't worry about it. You could always use 1.8.9 because every server that's open is only with 1.8.9. But yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel if it helped you. Then, like I said, and yeah. But yeah. See you guys next time. Peace.